Hi, Leo Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with angelic energy, and I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell if you haven't already to make sure that you get all of the videos that I upload here on this channel. We're gonna dive into your month of March, 2022. What do you need to know? What messages do the angels have for you? And how can you best navigate this month? As I take a look at, at the cards that um, at this spread, which I've already pulled all the cards, I like to do that in advance. Um, I definitely see people being really important here in this month. People, relationships, connections. This is definitely a good time for you to get out there, to be networking with people, to be connecting with people, uh, to maybe come out of maybe a hermit mode or something like that. Have you been kind of like, pulling away from people or taking space. I definitely see people as being really important. I also see you taking a look at this month, who and what you want involved in your life. So definitely there's this whole reevaluation of things that I see happening here in this month. So we're going to take a look at the bottom row of cards that I pulled. The bottom row is connected with the overarching themes that you can expect throughout the month. So we have the four of wands and this is clarified by the magician there's very much an awareness that that's coming in for you where you're really wanting stability i definitely think that that's going to be highlighted for you so any area of your life that doesn't feel stable that doesn't feel solid that doesn't feel reliable or supported i i really see you taking a look at that and deciding whether or not it still belongs in your life. Because I do think that your peace, your stability, your security, your consistency, feeling supported, feeling loved, feeling valued, I, I see that as being a huge priority. And I think that you're becoming more and more aware of that. You're really wanting um, commitments in your life. You're wanting to uh, deepen commitments in your life. And uh, you're taking a look at who and what aligns with that. I just don't think that the drama has a place anymore in your world. You know, I, I really see you seeking out that stability. And that's like what you're manifesting with this really wanting something solid. So for example, if you have a relationship that you take a look at, and you're like, you know what, this isn't somebody that I would want to have a deeper commitment with, or this isn't somebody who is wanting to give that to me. Or, you know, if, if you're at a job and you're recognizing, you know what, this isn't where I want to be for the long term. I really see you taking a look at the big picture, what you want to, what and where you want to be for the long term and deciding that, you know, definitely going to be a month of exploring different perspectives, seeing things from a different perspective. And I would allow it because I think that like these thoughts and these ideas that are coming in feel really different from maybe the way that you've been approaching things for a while. And I, it, it's meant to help you to get to a point where you are bringing in important change into your life, okay? Then we have this Queen of Cups in reverse clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So this to me again is about not being, not wanting drama in your life, not wanting to be surrounded or in situations where there's like high levels of emotion um or like it's it's kind of the emotion is all over the place where you never know what you're going to get maybe with a particular person you want stability you want security you want to um you know what you see is what you get you want to know what you're getting you want to not there's very much an energy of like choosing to get off the roller coaster. Maybe there's been a situation in your life that has been very up and down, very unpredictable. And you take a look at that and you say, you know what, it's time to get off the ride. It's time for me to be done with this. This is not good for me. This is not serving me. This is not giving me the things that I need. So I really see this whole reevaluation of that. It's so funny. Then we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? Um, so again, there's like this want for you to have emotional stability, 
you know, for things to feel more peaceful, for things to feel fulfilling, for things to feel just <sighs> stable, you know, not, not up and down, not rocky, not all over the place. And there's very much this desire and you're recognizing the people in your world that, that are not that, that really, again, that you've been on this roller coaster ride with, or that you don't ever know what to expect, what you get from them. You know, um, you're really looking for connections that are open hearted. You're looking to be able to, to connect with people and to go into something with more depth, to deepen your connections and to understand people on a deeper level. And you're not looking anymore for this surface level type of connection. So I see like there's this whole reevaluation of the people in your world or the types of circumstances that you allow in your world. And it's going to be those circumstances that are very like emotionally charged or just very wishy-washy or all over the place and you kind of never know what you're going to get. So this middle row is representing the challenges, barriers, and advice that, that the angels have for you throughout the month. So the first card that we have here is the moon card clarified by the knight of wands. So I do see um, there, there is going to need to be kind of a, a certain level of trust here. Okay. Because I think that you're becoming aware that again, that maybe there are people, places, and things that you need to weed out of your life that you need to, to, to change that dynamic with in some way. But I also think that in some ways you might not feel supported in that, or you might be like, why is all of this happening to me? Why is all of this showing up for me? Why? why, 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 you know, um, why, why does, um, you know, why, why does God want to punish me it is a little bit of the energy that I feel. And, and this is really saying, understand that you are being helped understand that there are actually circumstances that are being redirected that you never even had to have and experiences you never even had to have because there are forces at hand that are helping you, that are supporting you, that are guiding you. And so you are having the experiences that you're supposed to have to learn the lessons that you need to learn. But at the same time, uh, you also just know that there's help, know that there's support. We also have the moon card and the star card here in this middle row. So what I would say to you is definitely take some time to spend a little time underneath the night sky, you know, looking up at the, the stars, connecting with the moon, just really feeling that energy, really connecting with that energy. I think that there'll be messages or energies that you'll connect with that will be helpful for you if you take the time to do that. So speaking of that, we also have, again, we have the star card in reverse clarified by the hanged man in reverse. So this is really saying to me, number one, that I think some of the answers, some of the enlightenment will come from really taking that time to spend time underneath the sky, looking up at the sky, looking at the moon, that kind of stuff. But this is also saying to me that it may be, I, I feel specifically like around the full moon. Um, so that's like toward like mid toward the end of the month. I can't remember the exact date, but the full moon in March, that feels like an important day. I feel like that's where kind of around that day, whether it's the day before, the day of, the day after, something around that day feels like it's going to happen and it's going to make things much more clear. You're going to move out of this hanged man energy where you have felt like you're processing a lot and you're trying to make sense of it all. And um, suddenly it's like a light bulb lights up and you understand things differently. You see things clearly and you see um, people in your world that, that maybe don't have your best interest at heart. You become much more aware of what, what is working for you and what isn't. And I also think that you're inviting in with this community card, new connections into your life that are soul family, that are, uh, the card says forces are drawing your soul family to you. 
surround yourself with your people. But I definitely see you like connecting with a lot of people this month and um, maybe even meeting lots of new people. And that's for the purpose of, because I, I feel like there's a lot of rotation here with this or a lot of change. And I think that you're starting to call in those, those more stable, secure kinds of connections into your life, those connections that you can really rely on, that you can really trust. So definitely be open. And with that community card, I would say also accept invitations to do things that maybe are different from what you would normally do or... Um, you know, just, just be open in, in situations that are connected to people in some way. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We also have this Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Chariot card, okay? So definitely there's like a moving forward in the direction of that feeling of security. You know, um, maybe you will have some kind of like money coming in for you that helps you to feel more secure. But I also feel like this is circumstances, right? Where things kind of come into balance. You start to recognize what doesn't belong in your life, what does, and you're really focused on your pentacles. You're focused on making money. You're focused on creating security for yourself. You're focused on maybe buying a home or, or making your home space nice and, and looking for those people that, that carry with that, that same kind of vibe as well. If for those of you who are looking to like <clears throat> move or or um to invest in, in travel or something like that or invest in a new car, there's definitely an energy here of that as well. So some new beginnings there potentially with that. But we I also see you just like very much moving in this direction. Like I understand what I want, what I deserve now, and I'm going to move in that direction. So the top row is connected with the kind of where we're going in the relatively near future. Okay. So we have the two, we have two pages here in this top row. So there's definitely a, like, a, I'm moving on. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm not going to stay stuck anymore. I'm not going to entertain connections in my life that don't align for me anymore. And it brings with it a new fresh energy. And I think that it's important for you to just be open to new experiences here in this month, okay? Because I think that that's going to bring with it a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding, a lot of insight, right? So um, here with this Wheel of Fortune upright, I also see within, and with the Page of Swords, there's some kind of connection that is initiated or communication that comes in or or email or text or message something like that that really changes your luck for the better. So maybe you're thinking about, hey, let me like just reach out and connect with this person that I've been like putting I've wanted to connect with for a long time but I've been putting that on hold. There's kind of an energy of that. Um but also maybe hearing from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. And there's something about that that really, really changes your luck for the better. This may even be some kind of an opportunity that you've been waiting on. And, and suddenly, because you've done all of this work throughout the month, things really change for you. You know, your luck really changes for the better. And I do see something coming in that is... Um, a beautiful opportunity. It's like the universe just is throwing a lot of different things at you and you get to kind of weed through and decide what aligns for me and what doesn't. And you don't have to accept all of the options. You don't have to um, do anything that anybody else wants you to do. This is about what you want to do. This is about what aligns for you. We also have this page of cups clarified by the eight of pentacles. So Definitely something, I think that you're very focused on working on yourself. You're very focused on creating that stability again for yourself. Like you're not just expecting that to come from other people. And I think that because of that, there is some kind of an offer coming in. Definitely here with this page of swords, this page of cups, some kind of an offer coming in. This can be an offer of love. Um, where somebody says, Hey, look, I'm, I'm interested in you, you know, and it may come out of the blue because you're not expecting it. Or it may be you decide that you're ready to 
start something new with somebody else and and you're going to really invest yourself in something that you see as worth it you know that that stable connection that connection that provides you with all the things that you're really looking for. So you may be taking a little leap of faith with that, or somebody may be taking that leap of faith with you where they're showing interest, where they're just like cracking that door open and uh, seeing what comes through that. The next card that we have here is manifest. Okay. So it says manifest that shit. You are a powerful creator. Your thoughts and focus create things. And they absolutely do. I think that like this whole month is about getting clear on what do I want and what don't I want. And I feel like once you get clear on that, then you can, you can start to manifest it. You can start to say, okay, universe, this is what I want. This is what I'm calling into my experience. And I think that you're going to see that coming in really, really quickly because we have this, this Knight of pentacles clarified by the, um, ace of cups in reverse, you know, um, you are, accepting offers that feel good, that feel right, that feel balanced, that feel stable. Uh, and again, like there is this, this want to release. We also had the seven of wands here to release the drama, to release the conflict, to release the people in your world who are driven by emotions. Or if this isn't outside of you, maybe this is even yourself where you're saying, you know what? I really want to come back down to earth. I really want to be more in charge of my emotions and how I feel and how I manage my emotions. And I see you being successful with that. But um, there may be some challenges that happen throughout this month that really just help to highlight for you what you need to change or the people, places, and things that you're allowing into your life. So definitely a, an assessment of what you want. And I think a huge part of the conclusion is in deciding that you want stability and um, circumstances that are really compatible with the vision that you have for yourself for the long term. So those are your messages. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps to support the channel and helps this video to be seen by more people. I always appreciate as well a comment below. If you want to learn more about my membership or about my services, I have both of those websites down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Take care guys.